so very good morning students uh, we are going to learn uh, database sql course and while learning this course we are going to use uh, oracle as a product of database uh, in which we will be learning different examples um, in this course uh, you are required to first install oracle uh, on your desktop or laptop so that whatever practical examples we will discuss uh, during our talk uh, you can try these examples uh, on your computers uh, when we say sql sql stands for structured query language and this language is useful in order to uh, execute queries on uh, relational databases now what are relational databases uh, relational databases are databases which are in the form of tables you you all are familiar with the concept of table table basically comprises of rows and columns so when we have data stored in the form of rows and columns in the form of table and if you want to query the data from that table uh, so we make use of a structured query language that is sql in order to create such tables and in order to store and maintain the data in such tables so this course is all about uh, how we can maintain these tables and how we can uh, create these tables and how we can maintain the data in this table and how we can retrieve the data from these tables so this course will be uh, learned in different topics so this first video will be talking about topic number 1 in which we'll be writing basic sql select statements so sql select statements so sql select statements uh, the objective of this lesson is that uh, at the end of this uh, lesson you will be able to write sql select statements and understand various options that are available while writing this select statement uh, before we start uh, just look at this particular diagram which uh, helps us to understand the capabilities of sql select statement uh, what we can do using select statement so basically we can do three types of uh, operations we can do a projection we can do a selection and we can perform join using select statements now what do we mean by projection if you look at this diagram which is present on left hand side first diagram we have a table and the focus in that table is towards columns you can see there is a highlight towards columns so whenever our focus is towards retrieving the data from the columns then the operation is referred to as a projection operation and if our uh, intention is towards looking at a particular rows while Uh, writing the select statement then the operation is referred to as selection operation sometimes uh, we want to fetch the data from multiple tables then uh, suppose we have a table 1 and table 2 and i want to fetch the data from multiple tables then in this case we will be having uh, join operation so these are basically uh, the operations which we can uh, execute using select statements projection is something where the focus is on columns and selection is something where the focus is on rows Uh, let us see a general syntax of select statement so the syntax of select statement is select and then we give certain options uh, we'll discuss these options one by one from table uh, so select and from are the keywords uh, select identifies what columns you want to print from your table and from identifies from which table you want to print these values both these clauses are mandatory to be written Uh, let us learn all the options of select statement one by one with help of certain examples so first let us discuss about selecting all columns now suppose i have a table called as departments in my uh, database and i want to see all the columns of departments i want to see data from all the columns from my departments table suppose departments table is having four columns department id department name manager id and location id so if i want i want to print all the columns from my departments table then i write query like select asterisk from departments asterisk in this case signifies all columns so if my table is having four columns it will print me all the four columns and the sequence of columns will be same as that of sequence of columns inside my uh, database so in my database my first column is department id second column is department name third column is manager id and fourth column is location id so in the same sequence all the four columns will be printed in the output while printing the column name in the output you can see that all the column names are printed by default in capital letters so department underscore id department underscore name manager underscore id all these labels of the titles in my output window are printed in capital letters 
and uh, data for all the columns is printed so total i have eight rows so all eight rows for all the four columns are getting displayed now suppose i want to print only specific columns my department table is having four columns but i am interested only to see the data of two columns i want to see department id and i want to see location id so i can write a query like select a department id comma location id so i'll specify the exact name of columns for which i want to print the data from department table so here you can see instead of printing the four columns only those two columns which are specified in the select clause are printed in the output window now here also uh, the sequence of column is not important in the sequence in which you are mentioning the column inside your select clause in the same sequence you can see the columns and their data getting printed in our output so i can also write query like this select location id comma department id from department so in that case what will happen first location id column will be printed in the output and department id column will be printed after that so the sequence of column is not important uh, in the way you write the columns in your select clause in the same sequence the output will be displayed for only those columns which you have mentioned in the select clause now while writing sql select statements uh, we have we have certain properties let us discuss those properties one by one SQL statements are not case sensitive. What does it mean? Uh, whenever I write select, I can write select keyword in capital letter, I can write it in small letter. Same is with from. So these keywords in uh, SQL select SQL statements are not case sensitive. SQL statements can be written on one or more lines. You can see in the above example, we have written the SQL statement in two lines. So we can divide our statement in more than one line, but we should make sure that we are not dividing the keywords. While doing so, I cannot break the column name, I cannot break a keyword uh, across two lines. So I cannot write SEL and ECT in the next line. This is not allowed. So I cannot break a keyword or I cannot break a table name or I cannot break a column name while printing my output. Usually we write clauses in different line so that it will help us to read our query properly. So in the above query you can see a proper spacing has been given between the column names and the clauses are placed in different line which helps us improve the readability of our query. We can also perform arithmetic operations using SQL select statements. Now which arithmetic operators we can execute? Four basic operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. We can see an example. Suppose our employees table is having columns like last name and salary. Now what I want to do is I want to see what will be the incremented salary for my employees i want to give 300 rupees increment to my employees so salary plus 300 is a calculation it is an arithmetic expression which i want to perform now in the underlying database there is a column called as salary but there is no column called as salary plus 300 salary plus 300 is a calculation it is an expression which we do in the select clause whose output is only printed in the output window the underlying table of employees will only have salary column. There is no change that is going to happen to my underlying table of employees. So here you can see that salary column is printed and with that salary plus 300 for all the rows is also getting printed. Now for these, uh, uh, for this column, for our arithmetic expression, you can see that the column head over here is the expression that we have written that is salary plus 300 and that too in capital letters so for uh, the columns where you have column names the column names will be printed and for the expressions the same expression which we have given in the select clause that will be printed in your output window now if we are dealing with operators we know that operators will also come with certain precedence so as like in case of a normal algebra that multiplication and division takes highest priority over addition and subtraction and if you have equal priorities then the expression gets evaluated from left to right same gets applied over here also so if i give a query like this that 12 multiplied by salary plus 100 so what part of uh, arithmetic operation will be solved first 12 multiplied by salary will be done first because multiplication is having more precedence and then addition with 100 will be done but my objective in this particular query was to give 100 rupees increment and also see what will be my annual salary so for getting annual salary i have to multiply by 12 so my intention was to do addition first and then multiplication which is not happening by default with this query so we have to overcome the precedence and for overcoming the precedence we can make use of parenthesis 
so if i apply parenthesis as we do in normal algebra also the bracket will be solved first and then the multiplication will be with 12 will be done and respective result will be calculated which will be the desired output as far as our query is concerned again you can see the title of column for our calculation is the same expression that we give for uh, the select clause now sometimes when we deal with database or any programming language for that matter we are encountering null values so let us first understand what do we mean by null value null is a value that is unavailable unassigned unknown or inapplicable we cannot compare null to a zero or we cannot compare it to a blank space or to a, any default value for that matter for example consider i am having an employees table and in the employees table uh, consider that i am having a column called as commission underscore pct now commission underscore pct is a column which reflects me that uh, how much commission i should give to my employees the employees which are working additionally in my organization i am giving certain commission to those employees as as a part of bonus for them so not all people would be working extra right few of them will be working so those who are working extra for them the commission pct value will be there for those who are not working extra commission pct value will be null so when you print this null values you can see that uh, nothing is getting printed in the output window so you will not get null as a keyword printed over there in some of the programming languages if you have observed like in c or java if you try to print a null value null is getting printed in the output window but here we don't get null printed on our output window rather we can see the uh, there is nothing that is getting printed in place of those null values now any arithmetic that you perform with null value in uh, database will also become null so if i ap apply 12 multiplied by salary multiplied by commission pct so those who are having commission pct uh, their calculation will be done those who are not having commission pct their calculation will become null in this case so any arithmetic expression that contains a null value gets evaluated to null in oracle now uh, as we have seen that wherever we are writing expressions or wherever we are writing the column names by default everything is getting printed in capital letters now suppose you want to give a different name to your column heading while printing your answer so how we can do that we can do that with help of column aliases so a column alias is something which renames the column heading and it does not rename in your original table it will just rename in your output window it is just for your output i again repeat it will not change the name of column in your original table it will just rename it for your output purpose it is very useful with help of calculations as we know that whenever we write any calculation the entire expression is getting printed as the column name so instead of printing the entire uh, expression if i want to print only the part of it then i can do it with help of column aliases we can do it by immediately writing the column name with an optional as keyword between the column name and alias and it also requires a double quotation mark if it contains spaces or special characters let us see some examples for column aliases select last name as name now we know that employees table we have a column name called as last underscore name now instead of last underscore name i want the column header to be printed as name so we can see that output in output uh, there is a black uh, so there is a red uh, highlight given now last underscore name is not getting printed as the column header but name is getting printed now writing as is optional you can see in the second column commission underscore pct i have not used as keyword but i have given a column aliases by writing comm now this comm you can see on right hand side with a black uh, uh, column header that comm is getting printed now by default in both these cases the headers are taken as capital letters but sometimes what if i want them to be used as small letters now here we can make use of double quotation marks if i want to use the column headers as it is as i specify in my column aliases so here last name you can see uh, double quotes we have name so here in the title you can see the that capital n then a m e in small is given and if i want to use special characters like space in case of annual salary or an underscore or a dollar symbol these special characters if i want to include in my column aliases i can do it by including those column aliases in my double inverted commas so this is how we can use these column aliases now we also have concatenation operator which is a double pipe symbol which can be used to concatenate values from two columns so select last name concatenation operator job id as employees from employees table 
so here you can see that last name is king coacher d han and so on and job id is a ad underscore praise ad underscore vp ad underscore vp it underscore prog so these two values are getting concatenated and i am getting the value printed in the output window window which is concatenation of both these two columns now while working with these kind of operators we can also work with certain literals now, what are literals literals can be characters it can, they can be numbers and they can be dates also if our literals are characters and date we usually use them in single quotation marks in oracle database okay so let us take one example of character literals in the same concatenation operator which we had discussed earlier now instead of writing only concatenation of last name and job id i am inserting a character literal in between so as it is a character literal as i stated earlier it has to be included in single quotation mark so last name concatenation with literal space is a uh, then literal close and concatenation with job id so in the output you can see in between the last name and job id everywhere the character literal of is a with the proper spaces is getting included this is how we can make our reports more meaningful by making use of character literals when we are printing output out of the data and we can generate meaningful reports out of it now sometimes for a particular query you might feel that you are getting duplicate rows in your output for example if you try to print department id from your employees table uh, you might feel that there are multiple department ids present here it is possible because in employees table we, we are having employees so i may have multiple employees working in same department for example uh, there are uh, 16 teachers working in working in computer science department right so for all these 16 teachers the department id will be same which is department id of computer science so with respect to that query we might feel that it is a duplicate record in the total table it will not be a duplicate record but with respect to that query we might feel that i am getting duplicate rows and if i want to re remove these duplicate nodes we can make use of uh, the keyword called as uh, distinct so here we had seen earlier that there is a keyword which is optional called as distinct so if i write query like this select distinct department id from employees so what will happen so select distinct department id from employees so in this if i use distinct keyword here in between select and department id the department id 90 will be displayed only once 60 will be displayed once and 50 will be displayed displayed once i hope you have understood all the examples which i have taken for select query in the next chapter we will discuss the further clauses thank you